ladies and gentlemen, this is the only official fully released remastered Call of Duty game that we have to this date. Let that sink in for a second, what I just said. This is the only official fully released remastered Call of Duty game that we have. That's insane to me. Because we do have Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered, but we don't have multiplayer or spec ops remastered with it. It's just the campaign, and of course we know for a fact that we, everyone, including myself, wants Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer to be remastered. Because it's so iconic, everything was overpowered in that game, and it probably will play like crap if they keep it exactly the same. And I think that's kind of like another reason why they won't release it, because there's that huge controversy and divide between the community. However, that still d doesn't really prove my point here you know like this is the only remastered game that we have for call of duty we, you know we have the campaign and multiplayer and of course there's arcade mode a shout out to those who actually know what that is but still that's just crazy to me that this is the only remastered game that Activision has actually had their studios make and give out to the public. And of course, you know, there are people who like who create mods for these older games and, you know, try to keep it alive on PC and stuff like that. But on console anyway, this is this is the only remastered game that we have that we're able to play multiplayer on. And I feel like this game still holds up to this day. Modern Warfare Remastered was honestly a very fun experience for me because I didn't start playing Call of Duty until Modern Warfare 3 came out. And I got really into Call of Duty when that game came out. I was just so hooked. And a little fun fact for you guys, I actually got Modern Warfare 3 uh, for Christmas, that Christmas, whatever that year that came out in. And that same Christmas, I actually got Call of Duty 4 as well. So I definitely played the campaign you know, from Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, because I eventually bought that game from GameStop, and then, you know, eventually started playing Modern Warfare 3, and you know, try to try to play them all in order, and so I definitely had a little bit of experience of playing Call of Duty 4 in the past, but I never experienced in its prime, you know, I wasn't one of those really OG Call of Duty people who started back in Call of Duty 4, and I'm, I'm not one of those people, but I did experience it a little bit in the past, even though it wasn't in its prime, and so seeing it remastered was very exciting to me, because I got to basically experience the exact same game but in its prime you know of course obviously the graphics are updated you know the server lag is a lot more on par to current like you know multiplayer games than what it was back then and all that like it's just enhanced overall it's the exact same game but enhanced in like the most up-to-date version possible of course unfortunately the game does have supply drops and of course dlc weapons which does kind of change up the meta a little bit but either way it's definitely a better version of Call of Duty 4 in my opinion and I really enjoyed playing it it was so much fun and it's a shame that I didn't get that much game time back then when it first came out because during the time this game came out we also had Infinite Warfare so I was kind of like juggling between the two like I would always have this phase where I would just keep playing Modern Warfare Remastered and then I'd switch over to Infinite Warfare and start playing that a lot I think I put a lot more game time into Infinite Warfare which was a little unfortunate uh, you know, I was trying to go for like Black Sky camo, and then in Modern Warfare Remastered, I was trying to go for Exclusion Zone camo, and in the end, I never end up getting either one, and I really think I could have got at least Black Sky camo if Modern Warfare Remastered was never given to us, or vice versa, like if Infinite Warfare was never given to us, and we only got Modern Warfare Remastered, then I probably would have gotten an Exclusion Zone camo at the time, but unfortunately, I was juggling between two Call of Duty games in one year, and I just couldn't do it, and that was literally bad back when I actually had a lot more time to play video games, now I barely have any time to play video games, and so if they ever release two Call of Duty games in one year, I, I'm not going to be very happy, because I love the camo grind, I love the challenge grind, you guys know that's who I am, and so I really hope they never do that, and I think they have made a statement, Activision has made a statement about that, because they don't want to split up the player base, which is totally understandable, and I think that's like totally like acceptable for them to say that. I, I'm glad they say that. I'm glad they understand that. And it looks like in the future, they're never going to release two Call of Duty games in a single year, which I think is completely fair. 
But what about Modern Warfare Remastered? Like, does this game still hold up to this day? And it definitely does, even though the game is very lackluster compared to these modern Call of Duty games. And that's mostly because this is an old Call of Duty game just remastered, right? You know, there is like a challenge grind to go for. There's a lot of different challenges you can go for, of course, whether that's game modes or, you know, using your lethals and tacticals or even weapon challenges, which are usually uh, either just camo or just trying to unlock attachments, which, you know, this is that's crazy, you know? back in this t era of Call of Duty, customization wasn't really that advanced when it came to like creating a gun loadout because you can only choose one attachment to put on your gun unless you were using a certain perk. In that case, you can use two attachments, right? And like on the assault rifles, you only can select up to four attachments. So you were very limited on the different attachments you can use and of course apply them on your weapon. And you know, there was a lot of different meta stuff in this game that literally never changed since Call of Duty 4 came out like for example the m16 with stopping power is literally the most overpowered gun in the game i mean hands down it's not even a competition with any other gun although they did add dlc weapons to modern warfare remastered and it definitely changed up the meta a little bit which i actually think was a good thing overall because it gave us something new to experience while still giving that same call of duty 4 feel and i something i really did enjoy and of course there's that whole supply drop situation which of course this is back when call of duty still had supply drops where you had to earn depot credits to actually uh, basically spend and open up those supply jobs and get cosmetic items and you could also get weapons as well and then of course you had like the whole salvage and parts system and if you saved up enough of that you can actually complete an entire collection of like something and then of course unlock the main reward for that collection if you bought everything using those parts or salvage right and so I thought that this game was very unique I didn't feel like a lot of people praised it that much, you know? Call of Duty 4 is a huge game in the Call of Duty series. It's literally what got Call of Duty, like, on its feet and become very popular. There's a lot of YouTubers and content creators out there who actually started playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4. And uh, there's a lot of people who don't play Call of Duty to this day, but played this game back in its prime. And it's very shocking to me that nobody really seemed to care that this game got remastered, which I think was very unfortunate unfortunate because it's something that I personally love to experience since I never played it back in its prime. And so another thing about Call of Duty 4, you know, there's it just completely changed like the franchise for Call of Duty because you know Activision was so strict about being Call of Duty only a World War II game because before Call of Duty 4 there were only World War II Call of Duty games and they were very lackluster there wasn't that much to them but the developers at Infinity Ward were like no we want to make a modern Call of Duty game and so uh, they showed off the prototype which is actually the first mission of the campaign and Activision's like okay you know what this looks pretty good we're gonna let you continue working on this project sure enough we get Call of Duty 4 and it just goes berserk and like Call of Duty just becomes super popular in the first person shooter scene and of course is still popular to this day. I really want more future remastered games and I've said this quite a few times recently here on the channel but Activision really needs to put out more remastered Call of Duty games because we've been asking them for ages like my goodness 10 years ago people were still asking for a Modern Warfare 2 remastered like seriously it's been a freaking long time since we had another remastered Call of Duty game and it's crazy to me this is the only remastered game that we have of course Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered but that doesn't count it's only the campaign no one cares about that we play it once and we're done right uh, but seriously they really need to go with the whole idea that I came up with where every other year they come out with a new Call of Duty title and in between those years we'll get a remastered version of an old Call of Duty game so I feel like instead of releasing like World War 2 Vanguard this next year which apparently is supposed to have Modern Warfare 3 campaign bundled with it or something like that. It's a remastered uh, campaign, by the way. And uh, I feel like they should just kind of hold that off and only release the multiplayer for Modern Warfare 2. And, you know, they should do the same thing they do with Modern Warfare Remastered and, of course, add new things to the game like weapons and cosmetic items and character customization to keep things interesting in a battle pass even that can be shared with Warzone. There's a lot of things I feel like they can do with the remastered scene in Call of Duty games and I guarantee you it's not that hard to remaster a Call of Duty game than making one completely from scratch and coming up with a new title and idea so ah man 
This game was very limited though. There is a lot of overpowered stuff that we definitely don't see today like Juggernaut and the stopping power perk uh, and for good reason, right? But it's still go, it's still fun to go back and actually use some of this overpowered stuff and just kind of casually play the game and not take it too seriously. Uh, but anyway, yeah. I love this game. I'm glad I went back and played it and kind of like get a good taste of it, what it's like in 2021. And yeah, there's still people playing it, which is very surprising to me. It wasn't too hard to get into lobbies. And one thing I totally forgot about, this game isn't cross-play. So I'm only playing with Xbox players. And I'm glad that Call of Duty went with the cross-play scene. I mean, I know it's been kind of a popular thing because of Fortnite, but I think overall it definitely makes it easier to get into lobbies. Uh, but anyway, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like if you did and of course subscribe to the channel for more videos every single day and I shall catch you guys later.